Here's like a sign right here. Uh, so here's the dice. <laughs> Fix your credit. <laughs> it's all wet. Oh well. So this is the house that I was born in back in 1989. My parents still live here. I've turned their garage space into my studio space. I mean, you know, you think that's a cloud, but <laughs> it's really just like fumes from the refinery. I've lived in Wilmington my whole life. It's a little city in the South Bay of Los Angeles, maybe <laughs> above us. I gotta take her out. Sorry about that. <laughs> I paint layers of cardboard that I decollage uh, that's building up layers and ripping them back down to reveal sort of like its own history. I tear it, I sand it, any sort of physical way that I can uncover or reveal. I use stencil techniques, find signs in the neighborhood, uh, for example, predatory loan signs that are, that are found like in busy intersections, and I use that language. These predatory loan signs are targeting immigrant communities or predominantly people of color. And these are also communities that happen to be working class or people with lower income. It's like a lot of these recurring words, you know, buy, 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 or credit, 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 you know. John Constables is like the starting point for me. You know, these, these, these buildings in the back, you know. That's what I find interesting. It's like, what's going on in the background? Yeah, to me, it's just kind of like, when I go out and see these refineries, that's, that's what it is. Or just like these little tiny details that are just like way back in the horizon. If I'm overlooking the city from like this hill up here, it's like, I want to take that and bring it way up here and show you. Around here, there are two big industries. It's the oil refiners on one hand, and then the port on the other. Sorry. One of the busiest and biggest ports in the world. So it's like straight ahead, you see those containers. I mean, right across from them are houses. I think it's a part of LA that people don't never think about. Despite this economic connection, the city's rather lower income. I think about the smoke. Sometimes you can't tell if there are clouds or like these smokestacks and it's just like constantly pummeling. When I'm ripping, when I'm making these rips, I think about that. I, I imagine it. smoke coming out of my paintings, not literally, but the way the shape is of that cloud and sort of the area that surrounds it. I mean, it's, it's very like gritty, beat up. See, it's like these colors, you know? That's, that's where I'm drawing these colors from. I like the way they're just like beat down these containers, like the rust showing through from the cork and steel. So the stacking of the containers is what I think about when I'm sort of layering the cardboard in my painting. And I think about these stacks and if I could physically rip through them, you know, what would that look like? And I take the corrugation of like these containers, these the corrugation of the cardboard to sort of be in dialogue. I, I like to display my works very large scale, very like all consuming. I want, I want the viewer to be taken into this space. I think about like the shipping containers and how I feel when I'm in front of one, but now when you have tons of them, thousands of them, that intense feeling that I get is, is like the way I feel when I'm inside of a James Terrell piece. We're standing in front of like a Richard Serra and that's what I want to capture. When I look at these spaces, I don't think of beauty. I don't think of them as beautiful. However, when I isolate fragments of them, I see that there is beauty in them. I mean, you can get lost in this. I get lost in this. That, that's Wilmington. 